Hello, this is Carter Rakowski talking about um, giving a little extra information about gender in the selfie. This is to go along with um, Mary McGill's TED Talk about uh, um, the selfie and narcissism. So I guess just to give you a little review, um, so this is based on Mary McGill's TED Talk. And so that she opens with this vignette about um, sportscasters making fun of women, young women in the crowd taking selfies at a baseball game. So instead of looking at the sports, they're just obsessed with themselves. That's what the sportscasters are saying. And, and she says that they end up talking for like two minutes about these girls and getting increasingly critical of what they're doing. And we can see this um, throughout a lot of talk about selfies, that they're trivial, that they're evidence of narcissism, the me generation, instead of Gen Z, it's Gen me. And I would argue that some of the biases we could see in those types of narratives are against women and girls and also age generations. You know, there's usually a moral panic for each generation. But we have to remember that gender is a social construct. We perform gender, part of socialization is learning how we should, what gender is and how we should behave. And that femininity is about performing and being the subject of the male gaze. The male gaze positions girls and women as passive, one-dimensional sexual objects. So I put here like Elmo is fine. He doesn't need any adornment. He can be completely himself without any adornment and he is great. Whereas Abby needs the jewelry, the the um, the adornment. She needs to be covered. She needs to be proving, you know, and to be beautiful. Miguel talks about bedroom culture, about women and girls being socialized into not only being attentive to their appearance, but as seeing the home as their domain. Um, I put a little clip from Calgon, Take Me Away. It was a really popular commercial when I was a kid, and even um, later. And here, this girl's holding a bath bomb. You know, this idea that um, girls should see their bedrooms or their baths as the place that they, and like that, that's their home. We think of a bachelor pad as being um, like everything mismatched and things just thrown everywhere. And that's how guys should live. And women make the home personal, they decorate the home, they make it a home, and so on. And so, um, also in this slide, I put some pictures of vanities, you know, it's in the name as that, and McGill argues that girls and women are socialized into being actually narcissists because they're socialized to care a lot about their appearance, to be constantly grooming themselves and their surroundings, and to see that, um, that that's where they can be free and express themselves, that's where they should create art, is on themselves, every part of the body needs to be subdued and controlled and, and really punished, uh, according to some feminists, see like piercings and um, hair dye and straighteners and all these is actually like disciplining the body and in, in, in that it's seeing women in high heels is like a, um, a masochistic exercise against women to, um, to control their bodies and control them. But Miguel argues that girls do find pleasure and they're um, in these activities and that pleasure can be found by um, seeing themselves in the mirror. And now with selfies, we can share that pleasurable moment with other people. Another point she makes is that we, that girls and women are not in control of the narratives in mainstream media. If we look at this sort of gender disparity in film, in, um, and, this is from um, the UCLA report about gender disparity in film, and these are like behind the camera. So we have approaching somewhat um, equality here in editor, but all the other places that people are telling stories behind the screen and behind the camera, like the writers, only um, like less than 20% of writers on these films were women, directors, it was like maybe 10%, 
um, less than 10% cinematographers. So the people in control of the of directing the camera and, and writing and producing and telling these stories are male, mostly men. Uh, here's another one looking at TV only. The other one was film. This is TV. This is more recent, you know, coming from 2011 to 2018. It hasn't really changed much, the proportion of women that are in um, broadcast scripted television shows. And if you look at television executives, they're predominantly um, over, males are overrepresented and, um, and white people are overrepresented. And so to wrap up, Miguel's points are that women, when they're taking the selfie, they're gaining control of their own representation. They're not passive. They are how they see themselves and sharing that with others. Mm -hmm. Selfies can indeed be seen as a radical political act in changing the narrative and taking control of how you're being seen. And it could be a place for women, girls, and other groups, um, minoritized groups, to control the message, create communities, and speak back to power. We'll end there. But you should still watch the whole um, TED Talk by Miguel. <laughs>